Alia Dana Houghton, mostly recognized as Alia, was a 22-year-old singer and actress born in Brooklyn, New York. She moved to Detroit with her family at the age of five and grew up singing with her mother. At the mere age of 11, she opened up for her aunt Gladys Knight in Las Vegas and was set to reach crazy heights in her music career. Alia studied dance at the Detroit High School for the Fine and Performing Arts and managed to get a 4.0 GPA. She was a young, classy, intelligent, and talented woman with the voice of an angel who managed to quickly capture the attention of the music industry with her impressive musical ability. From selling millions of copies worldwide to modeling for brands like Tommy Hilfiger. My father has beautiful chestnut eyes. I got my, my voice from my mother. To having a starring role in some major movies. How could I have missed it? I think I'm hopelessly in love with you. Alia was destined to become a superstar. Her life, however, came to an end on August 25th, 2001, when Alia and eight people, seven of them being her crew members plus the pilot, all died in a horrific plane crash. It all began on August 22nd, 2001, when Alia was in Miami to shoot some scenes for her upcoming single, Rock the Boat. The video shoot went as expected, and Alia and her crew members were elated to continue putting together this project. The entire team was then scheduled the next day to fly to Abaco Islands in the Bahamas to continue the shoot. Everything went well as Alia and her crew arrived to the Bahamas on Thursday, August 23rd, 2001. Alia and her team arrived at the beach, ready to get to work by 6.30 a.m. on August 24, and they managed to quickly get a lot of work done in the beautiful Bahamas. The video shoot, in other words, went as planned. The flight Alia was supposed to take was initially scheduled for August 26. However, since Alia ended up finishing shooting all the scenes for her part of the video, her and the entourage were eager to return to the United States, and they then decided to leave early. The Rock the Boat music video was the last project Alia would ever work on. Okay, let's go again. Uh, camera comes up. We push it in a bit. Play with it. If we don't do it, if we don't do it with this one, we can do it with someone else. We can do it with the white one. Yeah. Three inches. Wait, watch your head. Watch, watch your head. Watch your head. I got you. The aircraft Alia was boarding was a Cessna 402B, a 6 to 10 seat light twin piston engine aircraft, which has easily removable seats and can be used as an all-cargo carrier. The Cessna 402B is intended to be both very inexpensive and easy to operate. The aircraft had a maximum authorized takeoff weight of 6,300 pounds or 2,857 kilograms. This is important because it was the root cause of this plane crash. It was on Saturday, August 25th, 2001, when the tragedy happened. The small Cessna aircraft that was carrying Alia and the eight other people took off from the Marsh Harbor Airport at 6.50 p.m. to head back to Opaloka, Florida. The plane, however, didn't make it that far as things took an ugly turn for the worse within a minute of the plane taking off. It only took roughly 200 feet or 60 meters from the end of the runway before the plane went down. Alia, including seven other people, all died in an instant as the plane went down. One person survived and he was taken to Florida for treatment, but eventually succumbed to his injuries later on. It was revealed that Alia died of severe burns and a blow to the head, and that she went into such a state of shock that even if she had survived the crash, a recovery would have been near impossible. The plane crash that killed a rising star in the world of music and film. Reaction today after Aaliyah and eight others were killed when their plane went down. Good evening, I'm Lauren Glassberg and for Sandra Bookman. And I'm Tim Fleischer. The plane just after taking off for Florida in perfect weather suddenly plummeted to the ground. Investigators now saying one of the engines apparently failed. Along with eight passengers, Aaliyah, a young Brooklyn native and a talented singer and actress. He's a beautiful person inside and out and we're gonna all miss her deeply. She will greatly be missed. You know, she had a great impact on many lives and it was a great experience to, to share that time.
this horrible crash that killed Alia and the eight other passengers instantly made national news. Alia, of course, being in the focal point of this tragedy, this plane crash was investigated by the Civil Aviation Department, and the findings were quite shocking. Some of the more shocking findings were regarding the pilot who was operating this aircraft. Captain Luis Antonio Morales III was born in Santurce, Puerto Rico, and he was 30 years old. Luis, who had a keen interest in aircrafts, starting from a very young age, received flight training at the age of 17 when he was attending school for it. He eventually received his pilot license in February 2000. Now, apart from his interest in flying planes, he also took a liking to some other things, like doing drugs. Merely 12 days before the crash, Lewis was in court where he was sentenced to three years probation for charges of crack cocaine possession. This sentencing stemmed from a traffic stop in Broward County, Florida. The police apparently found crack cocaine residue on a front seat of his car during a search. After he ran a stop sign in Pompano Beach, Lewis ended up pleading no contest to the possession charge. Now, after an autopsy was performed on his body, they found traces of crack cocaine in his urine and traces of alcohol in his stomach. So this pilot was flying this aircraft, which carried eight passengers while he was under the influence, which is obviously no bueno. It was also revealed that Luis Morales got sentenced for a charge of trying to sell $350 worth of stolen airplane parts the year before. On top of that, Lewis was actually not even authorized to fly the plane in the first place. The two companies that owned and operated the plane didn't even have a permit to operate in the Bahamas. So this plane wasn't even allowed to be in the air. Some other things about the company that owned aircraft, between 1997 and 2000, they had been cited by the Federal Aviation Administration four different times for various violations, which included failing to follow drug testing rules for employees in 1999, that obviously explains why Lewis was flying a plane with crack cocaine in his system, and for failing to perform proper aircraft maintenance the previous year. And that brings us to the main reason why this flight carrying Alia went down. The short answer, aircraft overweight. It was a twin engine plane that carried nine people in total. It was however only supposed to carry six to eight people, including the pilot. Now, more specifically, the maximum authorized takeoff weight for the Cessna 402B was 6,300 pounds. The plane alone accounted for about 4,117 pounds. That would allow for an additional 2,183 pounds to include bags, fuel, and passengers. The small twin engine aircraft was however carrying about 574 pounds of baggage and an estimated 804 pounds of fuel. That would allow for slightly more than 800 pounds for the combined weight of the nine adults. In total, the aircraft exceeded the maximum allowable weight of 6,300 pounds by approximately 941 pounds. Another main cause of the crash, improper weight distribution. Two of the largest passengers who weighed approximately 300 pounds each were improperly seated, which had a negative effect on the weight distribution, and that was also a factor as to why the plane crashed. On top of all the other things I told you about Luis Morales, the pilot also unfortunately falsified many of the aircraft hours received on a plane. It's also suspected that no weight and balance or performance calculations were made prior to this particular flight as none of these completed documents were found. So it was absolutely not a coincidence why this plane went down. The thing was overloaded by almost a thousand pounds. There was also reports that haven't been 100% confirmed that state that Alia actually didn't want to get on a plane itself. This was allegedly after she had seen how small it was. She later after this complained about having a headache to her team, which prompted her to go to sleep in a car she was driven in to the airport. Alia was then allegedly woken up and given a sleeping pill and was carried on to the plane while she was still sleeping. This part of the story hasn't been 100% confirmed. It was however told by someone who was working at the airport at the time. Alia ever since her death has been hailed as an R&B legend who passed away far too soon. It's crazy to think that this woman passed away at the age of 22. She had her entire life in front of her to elevate within her career, but it was unfortunately taken away due to the mistakes of a pilot who should have known better. Luis Morales was a common denominator here. As someone who was flying planes professionally, he's the person who should have not flown this severely overloaded aircraft and not been under the influence while he was at it. It's truly sad that Alia's life was taken away so soon when it could have all been avoided. Anyway, the tragic death of Alia. 
Any thoughts on the story? If you enjoyed the video, definitely consider giving it a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'm curious what you think about this tragic story involving the passing of a young music star who had so much more life left to live. You'll let me know in the comment section below, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. I'm out.